Oh, what are these clips? Honestly, credit to the directors who have to come up with the sets and costumes to all these things. Like, I physically don't have it in me to do this. Hello, dosto, kya ha chal hai me aapki hostess with the mostess who Eamon Hassan or aap top 10 Hindi videos dekh rahe. Maine hostess with the mostess try karna tha, magar wo bara bevakoof sound kar rahe to choro. Never again. <laughs> Bollywood, Bollywood, Bollywood. Aaj ki video drawni Bollywood filmo ke baare mein hai. And honestly, horror films, whether we're talking English or Hindi, wo hamesha average hote hai. Unke effects bhi average or storyline ko to na poocho. Dosto, jo film hai is list mein hai, wo aap bilkul miss nahi karna chahenge. Trust me, you will yourself. But before I begin, subscribe kare, comment kare, aap log kehte rehte hai ke haan, hum comment karenge, or mein bas wait kari hoti hoon, or kuch nahi comments aare hoti hai. Kuch to le aas kare, please. But anyway, let's get into it. This is the top 10 scariest Bollywood movies you can't watch alone. Thus pe we have Pari. Pari is saal release hui thi, or film ki lead heroine hai Anushka Sharma. Goli! Just wanted to slip that in there. Anushka Sharma film mein ek Ifrit ka kedar nabati hai. Ifrit sab se khatana kisam ka jinn hota hai. A radical Bengali clan wants to create more people for the Ifrit bloodline and branded women who are impregnated by the Ifrit. Movie mein aapko Anushka Sharma apne ghar mein chain hui milti hai aur maza tab shuru hota hai jab wo society mein apne aap ko reintroduce karna chahti hai. Arnab ek normal insaan hai aur wo apna mission bana leta hai uska khyal rakhne ka jab tak wo society mein safe nahi mehsoos karti hai. Masoom Arnab ko nahi pata hai ki Anushka ki asliyat kya hai. Anushka ko movie mein kaafi hallucinations aati hai. Usko pyaar bhi ho jata hai. Log uske peeche pee ba jate hai. Trying to kill her. Or kuch log iski madad karne lagte hai. Movie mein baut kuch ho raha hota hai. But I haven't watched the movie myself. But if you guys have, let me know what you think. Kaun recommend karta hai? Now per we have Horror Story. Really? Horror Story? Is se or bhi original title nahi mela tha? Producers or directors ne socha hum audience ke liye bilkul spell out karte hai. This is a horror story. But I'll give them credit because this film is very better from This film centers around the Grand Dwar Hotel which used to be a mental asylum that burnt down. Years later, this hotel was refurbished but the new hotel owner had been happy and the place turned to ruins. The story goes like this. Seven friends go to the hotel for a farewell. And all the time, they are closed in the hotel. They follow them with a lot of strange sounds and shadows. And they try to escape from the same time. Number one rule, guys. If you are going to go to stick together, folks. Never spit up. Do not spit up. Why does no one understand this? Do not spit up. Art pay, we have Ragini MMS 2. This movie is released in 2014. And the first film is released in Ragini MMS. One director has shot a film in the first place. He has cast a film in Sunny Leone, who is playing Sunny Leone, an ex porn star, aka herself. And she visits the original Ragini. Now in a mental asylum to learn more about her. Milne ke baad Ragini khud khushi kar leti hai aur set pe ajeeb ajeeb cheeze hone lagti hai. Sunny bhi wohi atma se possessed ho jati hai aur log set pe marne lagte hai. Bahut research ke baad ek doctor ko pata chalta hai ki wo ghar kyu haunted hai aur wo wajah itni screwed up hai ki aap imagine bhi nahi kar sakte hai. Wo doctor ghar jati hai caster ko ko warn karne ke liye but is she too late? Has the damage already been done? Watch the movie and find out because I I have no idea. Start day, we have Raz the Mystery Continues. Raz series ki ye second film hai, aur box office mein isne kaafi dhoom machaya tha. Film mein hai humare favorite on-screen kisser Imran Hashmi, Kangana Ranaut, and Adhyan Saman. Film mein Imran Hashmi ek artist hai, jo future bhi dekh sata hai. Ek din temple ja ke usko ek priest ki laash milti hai, jiska baut bori tar se katal hua tha. Kuch der ke baad, wo Kangana ki maut paint karta hai, magar usko koi idea nahi hai ke ye ladki kaun hai. Jab wo usko मिलता है वो कंगना को वोन कहता है मगर कंगना उसकी बात नहीं मानती है उसके बाद कंगना के अंदर एक भूत सवार हो जाता है जो कंगना को खुद खुशी कराने में टुला हुआ है इमरान हाशमी उसकी बुरी मदद करने की कोशिश करता है और उसको प्यार भी हो जाता है मगर ये बॉलीवुड मूवी ना हो अगर कंगना का कोई और बॉयफ्रेंड ना हो और फिर होता है ड्रामा अगर आप ये फिल्म देखने की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो याद रखना की ये फिल्म नौ साल पुरानी है तो फिल्म के ग्राफिक्स भी थोड़े से पुरानी लगते हैं जिस 
keep that in mind. Chepo, we have Hul Balanya. Now, this is considered a psychological thriller, not a horror movie, but I saw it when I was younger, and the image of Vidya Balan as Manjulika is still etched into my brain. Film ke characters Siddharth or Avni India Vapis move kar jate hai, or Siddharth ke maa baap ke pirane mehel me rehna shuru karte hai. Is mehel ki kahani kafi alag hai. Salo pele is mehel ke raja ko ek dance se pyar ho jata hai, or uska naam Manjulika tha. Magar Manjulika kisi or dance se pyar karti thi. Jab is raja ko ye baat pata chali, usne us larke ko maar diya tha, or Manjulika ko bhi punish kiya. Usko band kar diya, or thora arse ke baad usne khud khushi kar li. Uski atma tisre floor pe phas gayi, or bhot ajeeb se cheeze honi lagi ghar pe. Iske baad abni pagal ho jati hai, or soch ni lagti hai ki wo Manjulika hai, or us raja ko maarna chati hai badle mein. Jo asl mein uska pati Siddharth hai, jisko wo raja samaj rahi hai. Mujhe pata hai ki ye storyline thori si confusing lag rahi hai, magar bhot maze ki kahani hai. Or mujhe bhot pasand aayi thi, kyunki isme horror ke alawa comedy bhi hai. Rom com nahi, magar horror com bilkul hai. Panch mein we have 1920. 1920 2008 mein release hui thi, to ek aur prani horror movie. I don't know why these days people just don't make horror movies in Bollywood anymore. Agar aap sab ne The Exorcist dekhi hui hai, aapko 1920 zaroor pasand aayegi. Isli dono films ka plot kafi similar hai. Movie ki kahani kuch aise jaati hai. Ek naya shaadi shuda couple ek bahut bade se mansion mein rehna shuru karte hain. The husband's company has been tasked with turning it into a hotel. However, two men before Arjun also came to convert the mansion but were mysteriously killed. Dun dun dun. Arjun ki bivi Lisa ko ajeeb cheeze nazar aani lagti hai aur usko lagta hai ki koi usko dekh raha hai. Uska peecha kar raha hai. Arjun uski bivi ki baat nahi manta aur maze ki baat hai ki jo chokidar wahan saalon se kaam kar raha hai usko sab pata hai magar wo kuch nahi kehta hai. Movie mein kisi ki aatma Lisa pe qabza kar leti hai aur sab log is aatma ko bhagane ki koshish karte hain magar bolne aur karne mein bahut fark hai. Char pe we have 1920 the evil returns because what's better than a horror movie a horror movie whose sequel is even better ye movie 2012 mein release hui thi ye kahani jay dev ke bare mein hai jo apne zindagi ka pyar shruti ko kho baith jata hai kuch der ke baad usko ek behosh ladki nadi ke aas pass milti hai aur wo usko apne ghar le jata hai uska khayal rakhne ke liye good guy jay dev lekin ye ladki thodi si ajeeb hai jay dev ki behan ko ye ladki mein koi trust nahi hai aur un dono ko pata chalta hai ki ek aatma uske andar hai jisko usse pyar hai jaydev us ladki ko sangeeta bulata hai baad mein hame pata chalta hai ki sangeeta asal mein shruti hai aur wo aatma us aadmi ka hai jisne uska qatl kiya tha agar aapne film nahi dekhi to trailer pehle dekhna aur akele nahi dekhna teen pe hai ragni mms ye film 2011 mein release hui thi and is inspired by paranormal activity and is loosely based on stephen king's gerald's game which i've actually seen and i couldn't get through that either. A young couple Ragni or Uday weekend ke liye apne dost ke farmhouse chale jate hai. Magar unko ye nahi pata hai ki farmhouse rigged hai. Dear sorry cameras jaga jaga lage hue hain. Ye cameras unke love making ko record karne ke liye the. Magar jo record hua wo kuch aur hi tha. Ghar mein ek aatma rehti thi jisne Ragni aur Uday ka jeena haram kar diya. Ye film bahut maze ki hai aur bahut drony bhi. Do par we have ek thi Dayan aur film ka lead hai Imran Hashmi. He's made an appearance twice on our list now. Is that his niche? Horror films? Ye film 2013 mein release hui thi aur kahani Bobo ke baare mein hai. Jo ek top class magician hai jinko baar baar apni mari hui behan ki hallucinations aati hain. Wo ek din apne purane apartment complex jata hai aur usko ek dabba milta hai jiske andar usko apni behan nazar aati hai. Go to a therapist, they realized him and his sister accessed hell which was the basement of their apartment when they were younger and a witch unknowingly returned with them when they went back up. Is which Yadaya ne unki behan ko sacrifice kiya tha aur promise kiya tha ki ek din wo Bobo ke piche aayegi. Bobo ki zindagi mein ek ladki aati hai aur iska khayal hai ki wo shayad Dayan hai. Agar wo asal mein Dayan hai ya nahi ye to aapko movie dekhne ke baad pata chalega. And last but not least hamare number 1 position pe hai Funk. Ye film 2008 mein release hui thi aur ye kahani kala jadoo ke bare mein hai. Ram Gopal Varma ne direct ki hai to hame already pata hai that it's going 
to be really good. कहानी शुरू होती है राजीव से. एक दिन राजीव को पता चलता है कि उसके दूसरे बिजनेस पार्टनर्स और बहुत अच्छे दोस्त मधु और अंशुमन उसको धोखा देते हैं. राजीव दोनों को काम से निकाल देता है. फिर ये दोनों राजीव से बदला लेते हैं और उसकी बेटी राक्षा के ऊपर काला जादू कर देते हैं. राक्षा बहुत अजीब तरह बिहेव करने लगती है. Floating in midair, आदमी की तरह बोलना, just a lot of weird things. Doctors को बुलाया जाता है और एक जादूगर को भी और वो सब मधु और अंशुमन को रोकने की कोशिश करते हैं. I know the premises are sound scary, but believe me, it is. इस फिल्म के अकेले देखने का प्राइस है सात हजार डॉलर्स. Seven thousand dollars to watch this alone. If that doesn't give you an indication of the level of scary this film is, I don't know what will. Watch the trailer, maybe then you'll believe me. Or guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I've only watched one movie on this list, and I definitely don't plan on seeing any of the others because my subse bari der poku. Or maybe I will in the daytime with friends and not alone. So as always, do so comment kare or mujhe batai ki aapki subse scariest movie kaun si thi. Mere liye to Exorcism of Emily Rose thi. Maine ye movie dekhi thi jab main tera ya chhoda saal ki thi. Or mujhe bas rona yaad hai. Or maine uske baad koi scary movies nahi dekhi thi teen saal ke liye. Yeah. That's that's how much of a coward I am. May I be their book host to Eamon Hassan and I'll catch you later. Khadafis!